Hi, this is uh, Dr. Brinda Chanappa. I am obstetrician and gynecologist and I practice at Cloud9 Hospital, Jainagar, Bangalore. Not all adverse fetal outcomes can be detected before childbirth. Some things can be detected. We do routine testing, like I said, for you know thyroid and sugars uh, so that we prevent uh, these adverse outcomes. If we know that there is a pre-existing problem in the mother, then we know that we need to look out for certain conditions. Say, for example, if the mother developed a viral infection with uh, rubella or something like that, there are tests that are available which can be done to see whether the baby is affected. And that will then predict whether the baby is going to have a problem after it's being born or not. So that's a rare incident, but routinely we do scans in uh, at 12 weeks and at uh, five months to check whether the babies are normal. This is one of the main ways that we do checks to see what's the outcome of the baby going to be. So at 12 weeks we do Down syndrome screening scan and blood test to look for the baby to see if the baby is normal or not with regards to down syndrome again at 20 weeks which is 18 to 20 weeks should i say we do a scan which we call anomaly scan where we check to see if the baby is looking anatomically normal now although our scanning doctors will be doing a whole lot of tests to see if the baby is not is looking normal not all abnormalities are present at that time. Sometimes as the baby grows, we see with the growth of the organ that there is something not quite right later in the pregnancy. But for the most part, most problems are detected by the fifth month and uh, most of the tests are done by way of uh, ultrasound scan. So this is uh, with regards to abnormalities of the baby. With regards to adverse fetal outcome at the time of delivery, we monitor the baby during the delivery and we do CTGs to see, the, you know, the baby heart tracing to see if the baby is doing well. And if at any point we feel that the baby is not doing so well, we tend to deliver them by cesarean if required or forceps or vacuum if it is possible and she is at that stage of delivery. So this is how we try to predict the outcomes of the baby, but unfortunately not everything is predictable by science to this date.